Hi, it's David and Jeannie in the stained glass studio and it, the festivities have wound down. Now we're thinking about next year. So we came up with this idea. What was that, Jeannie? Well, we thought it might be fun to have a 2020 year in review. <laughs> and just to talk about some things that uh, we have done, some amazing projects that we've been able to do this year, and uh, some lessons that we've learned in the process. And if you're an artist, you're always going to learn lessons. <laughs> okay, and the reason we're doing this is so that you can get some ideas. This should rattle your brains <laughs> to be able to come up with some ideas that will be fun and maybe even profitable for you this next year right Jeannie that sounds so, great let's yeah let's do it <laughs> maybe we'll learn some things of how to be profitable too <laughs> that could happen it could happen we keep thinking it could happen <laughs> I know well we we have fun anyway yeah so um so welcome and we're gonna just jump right in here um so at the beginning of the year we did some things that uh, you know usually in january things are slow and you might you might have found that in your business people are just coming down from christmas and uh, so what i found is you have to keep working in the studio yeah. don't just take time off get out there and keep working so we have uh, shows usually on a normal year <laughs> we have shows coming up and so i will take that time to just make some things for shows that are coming up and so um, that's a great time to do that also we tried something new remember the mirror that okay, we did? somebody did ask us if we could do a mirror and yeah thick pieces of mirror glass and it was a sunburst and so one thing uh, the first lesson i would say is don't be afraid to try new things we've never tried that with thick mirror before right right and we were a little nervous <laughs> it took the saw <laughs> to to help us huh yeah and it, uh, it 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 was a learning experience for us mm -hmm. and boy it was a challenge because the throat of the saw was only so far in and Anyhow, it, it turned out really nicely though, and uh, that particular video that we shot, uh, quite a number of people viewed it, and so it must have been something that other people were interested in as well. Yeah, it was a new thing. Yeah. So that's the lesson. Don't be afraid to try new things. And the something that, that you can do um, to, along those lines is to maybe take a class. There are things that you can learn, things that we are learning every day. So uh, as we happen to have a class, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and so, yeah, if, if you take a class, whether it's in stained glass, whether it's in woodwork, whether, it, you know, whatever it is, use especially maybe a January time to, to take a class and learn something yeah, new. I'm thinking about maybe taking some kind of an illustration class because... I know that there's tricks that I don't know that would really be helpful for for both creating stained glass and maybe we could add something to the videos as well. Mm -hmm. so. That'd be great. That so, doesn't mean I'm oh. going to do it. That just means <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's all right. That's the first step, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is um, that we, we made some uh, windows for weddings for birthdays we we did things for other people that yeah. that were really fun and some of them that were gifts we just gave away and other other times somebody else hired us to do a gift for someone else so the lesson in that we did oh remember the wedding window we did for your nephew Gideon <laughs> um, and then also uh, we did a beautiful green transom for um, a lady downtown and uh, those were really fun so the lesson in that is use your skills to benefit others and uh, to make other people ha happy whether they be gifts or even as clients um, you know we've 
it's wonderful to make a client happy. <laughs> and uh, so something that you could do is to make a gift for someone else. Use your skills and your talents to make someone else happy. Okay. Yeah. So then, so the year got going and it got a little crazy. <laughs> so, so during the spring, there was a, a, a lot of commotion, a lot uh, about the COVID-19, a lot about the pandemic. And you might think, well, I may as well not do anything. Nobody's buying anything. You know, well, you went COVID. ahead and you applied for the uh, uh, for that project to mm -hmm. go to the Covey Center. And so you were able to spend a lot of time doing design work for that. Yeah, exactly. You hit it right on the head. There were there may not have been shows around town, <laughs> but there were we found online shows. Oh, you can't believe it. Yes. How many how many were you in? Um, well, three or four at least, you know, and we won awards in a couple of them. Yeah. And that was so neat. there are times when, you know, well maybe you just think, oh well they're not gonna have those shows anyway. No, keep looking. Keep looking. There are online shows, there are opportunities. So make those opportunities, use those shows because how many people have had to pivot this year? Yeah. A lot of their things have gone online. Now, one of the yeah. things that we did not do, you know, they had these different government programs where they said, ooh, now if you'll apply for this money, you probably won't have to pay it back. And uh, we didn't do that. We, we felt that uh, if we could just keep on doing our own thing mm -hmm. without okay. the help of the government, and, and it just seemed pretty iffy, you know, like, oh, maybe we'll get free money and maybe we won't. We just didn't want to gamble with that. Yeah. So that's one of the things we did not do, but that is something that a lot of stained glass artists okay. could have done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine because there are a lot of artists, performing artists and, you know, fine artists that were having trouble. So there was nothing wrong with doing that. Right. So what you could do is to enter shows. Just Keep entering. Keep being active in your art. Don't stop working. Yeah, good idea. So, um, next thing, uh, we did. We started some projects for people who said, you know what, this is a time where you know they were staying at home, so they were thinking about some of the things they could do to um, fix up their house. Yeah. To um, you know, they thought, hey, what a perfect time to design a stained glass window. And so a lot of people did that. And we had, for instance, remember the mountain scene that we did, the oh, big yeah. mountain scene. And that was something, and she it not only did that, but then now she's thinking of more bird windows to go with her mountain scene. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. so that was a, a great thing to do. And um, That was a nice custom mm -hmm. piece of work. Also the French diamonds. French diamonds. Well, the one we did with the French diamonds, uh, the video we put up, that's been one of our most popular because really? people want to know, you guys, you want to know how to do uh, diamonds. And I think we showed how to do them pretty, pretty easily. Very good. So. Okay. So, and we talked a little bit about keep, to keep working even when things are down. We had some students who felt a little worried about coming back to class for a while and so they just said you know I'm gonna put it off and uh, because they we weren't sure you know and there was a lot of quarantine time right. and uh, so there were a couple of, of students who even asked us to finish their student window for them and they came and just picked it up and so yeah there are things you, you have to pivot you have to learn how to do things differently so you can use your time to do research, to go take pictures, to um, you know, to do some, watch some videos. David was talking about some of the videos of ours that you can watch. He's got how many now? Today was number two ninety eight. So this one will be number two ninety nine. Okay. So. <laughs> so there you go. So and um. Another thing that, that happened this year, sometimes there was sadness. And 
and um, and that that happens. And during this time of pandemic, um, if any of you have had sadness in your family, um, we are sorry. We and wish you well. We do. My father passed away, but this yeah. was not really a, a time of sadness because he'd been suffering from Parkinson's for 10 or 15 years. Yeah. Just a really, really difficult time. I'm grateful to my brother Tom and his wife Kim. The two of them really helped my dad have a, a more pleasant life experience towards the end of his life. Mm -hmm. um, Mom passed away about four or five years ago, and ever since then, it was harder and harder for Dad. Mm -hmm. But dealing with Parkinson's was difficult. So anybody that you may know who has that kind of a, a challenge, then our hearts go out to you. Absolutely. So the lesson learned here is to use um, use your gifts and skills to bless others if you have that opportunity. Also, to use your stained glass skills as a stained glass therapy. We have had this happen numerous times where students have said, using stained glass has helped me through difficult times. Just getting out yeah. there, yeah. breaking glass, putting it back together. And we've had students who sometimes they'll come and not want to talk about it and just do their glass work. And then other times they'll come and they just want to talk and talk and talk. And this we have found, and who knew at the beginning that it would become something of a stained glass therapy, but really it has been. So I would say something you can do is use your stained glass to release, to be able to use it as a, uh, a therapy if you're having a hard time. And also it can, you can bless yourself and bless others. And isn't that one of the things that we've been feeling like is really important is having gratitude mm -hmm. helps us yeah. to have a happier life. Yeah. And doing your art helps, it helps me have greater gratitude. Yes, me too. And to, to see the smile in someone's face when they receive a window that you've put your heart and soul into makes you feel great. It's, it's definitely worth it. Sure, well we did that install the other day. Uh, we had a, stay, a, stu a client who really, she was very enthusiastic. She was very excited, it was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing is um, we've done some work for the community We've done as the we're working on getting some installed um, this next few months of uh, big mosaics. So there are four. What are they? How big are they? The whole thing is twelve feet. Each one is four feet by two, three, three. And uh, so big mosaics that are be going in. Um, also, we did a very touching um, project for. Um, someone that we know who wanted us to use frit to make um oh yeah what would they be called kind of like a, a, a it's a landscape but um but made out of frit and uh she she wanted us to do that before she went to live with the lord and uh we were able to do that to for her and get it to her in time and it was a great blessing for us all the time that I was working on it, I was thinking of her. Yeah. Yeah. We so, did a video on that project as well. And yeah. That was a that was a worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah. So the lesson here is uh, be a part of your community and do things for others that are beneficial to them and beneficial to yourself. Um, there are things that you can do for your community that you may not think of. You know, this we. Um, entered to win part of the uh, wrap tax and that's how we were able to partially fund um, the mosaic also we have a uh, patreon going on if you wanted to talk about that patreon's great now you, you can join for 
as little as three dollars a month but we put up if you just go to patreon to our patreon site you'll be able to see most of the videos the majority is there for anybody who wants to see it and uh, but we have been able to raise a little bit more money because we were underfunded on the uh, on that mosaic project it always takes more than you think <laughs> <laughs> so something that you can do is to uh, be a part of your community um, not only um, for city buildings but also for restaurants coffee shops you know who knows if you go to them you know even little stores and boutiques who would be very willing to take some of your your yeah and I, I was talking to a guy the other day who told me about a project that we might get to bid on and and uh, design some work for and I'm kind of looking forward to that yeah you know you're fun. always looking for a project yeah. after you've made all the enough stained glass for your home then you have to look outward to find it for other people yes yeah, so we'll let you know how that goes in, in this coming up year we've got some fun things planned for the coming year so um, we um, another thing about that is to let your art tell a story so the less the things that we build do tell a story and uh, I think that that is part of the artists life you know maybe is uh, your art tells a story and so sure that's does. something that you can do yeah, it really does. so next I think you mentioned it a bit is the big window that we did and did an install just last month and um, the lesson there is to have collaborations to collaborate with somebody and to to get their ideas and work together and you know and say well here's what i had in mind oh that's oh, yeah. what you're thinking okay great let's you know let's meet in the middle let's do something fun together and then both of you have so much fun and you make friends you know and you just you know it's collaborations are a lot of fun so Jeannie had a lot of fun doing that with the client and I had fun doing it with my son-in-law because oh boy did that take off some of the stress for me so that he went and measured the exact measurements so that we would be sure it would fit together properly and then he made the frame yeah well that was it yeah he made the frame and, and uh, everything fit so well but then we had the guy from Glass Doctor and we had Sarah and Greg come with us all three of them were part of a, a kind of teamwork that we put together so that we could get that thing installed and with any one of them missing it wouldn't have worked as well but oh boy since they were all there we were able to really do a marvelous job on getting the install complete. Yes, wonderful. So, so, so the lesson there is work with other people, do collaborations. And what you can do is uh, find out somebody, maybe you need a woodworker that can make a frame for you. Maybe you need a photographer that can do some great um, video and photographs of your work. Uh, maybe you have a, um, a silversmith that you can do work with, that you can work, um, make beautiful jewelry together. Yeah, I was thinking a metal worker would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people need to know a welder. A welder. Because you need you, you <laughs> find you need a welder every once in a while. Yeah. And boy, it comes in handy. Absolutely. So, and then the last uh, lesson we've learned is um, be forgiving and. Sometimes you learn the lessons the hard way, and David has a little lesson he learned. Yeah, well, you know, every between every five and ten years, I'm sorry to admit, I do something really stupid. And a couple weeks back, I, I did. I, I said some things to a client that I, I don't know where they came from. I. I didn't really believe the things I said, and I was hot and mad and evil. And I, and I felt terrible. I felt horrible for really weeks until I learned that she had 
forgiven me. And uh, oh my, and I think when something like that happens, I think, geez, I, I, I'm still not ready to be dead because <laughs> I am not perfect or not anywhere close to it. You know, in this life, I believe in this life, you're supposed to strive to be a better person. Man, I've got a long ways to go. I'm, I'm really, really sorry that I, that I still continue to be an idiot. And I'm not usually an idiot. <laughs> but I revert to form every once in a while. <laughs> So that's just a few things that we have learned as artists, as people, um, as, as people working together through this difficult year. And you know what? Next year's going to be better. And even if we have difficult times, it's going to be better because we've learned some lessons. Lessons about our art, lessons about ourselves. And so, like I said, we've got some fun things going on for this next year, and I know you do too. So keep up the good work. We're proud of you. We're so glad to be a part of your lives. So happy that we get to share whatever stained glass stuff we learn to be able to share it with you. So thank you for being with us. Any last words? See you next time. All right, <laughs> see you next year. <laughs>